Wow, this is really cool. This is a box set of pads that has a pad for every need when you're buffing out a car. And I think I even know the guy on the face of this box. We're gonna be talking about the Reflection Artist box kit of buffing pads from Buff and Shine. Mike Phillips, autogeek.com, and I have with me today Justin Lobato. How you doing, Justin? Hey, Mike, how are you? And he is the global consultant for Buff and Shine Pads, and not only is the global consultant, he's the guy on the face of this box set of pads. How'd you get that done? Well, you know, <laughs> we have, you know, some of our pads that already have some success out of our Eurotech line. Mm -hmm. uh, along with that, we added some new pads to that to create what's known now as the Reflection Artist Pad Line. And it's a brand culture based pad line to allow you to basically have an all-in-one pad kit that will help with paint defect removal and enhancement for almost all your machines on the market. Uh, the only one that falls short that you can't use in, for all the machines would be, of course, the microfiber pad here mm -hmm. with the rotary. Sure. But other than that, it accommodates the pads for all machines. I think this is a great idea. Very versatile. Yeah, you know, uh, whether you're an expert, a seasoned expert, you really know your stuff about machine buffing or you're brand new, this is a great way to test out this line of pads no matter what tool you have. And the condition your car may be in excellent shape or just hammered, and you've got the pad you need to address that paint condition. You do. You have from heavy defect removal to finish polishing, and it also works well with all the different and relevant compounds and polishes on the market to kind of manipulate how those work by just choosing your pad. Sure. And uh, what he's talking about there is sometimes you can mix a compound with a less aggressive pad or you can mix a polish with a more aggressive pad, depending on trying to dial in that perfect system for polishing the paint that's in front of you in your shop. Absolutely. And moving into that, we have our most aggressive pad in the lineup is our Euro Wool Blend, which comes in a 6 inch, 5 inch, and of course a 3 inch as well. With the kits, we have them in the 5 and the 6. And then we go down to our Eurofiber Finisher, which is a microfiber pad. This is the sister pad to the most popular pad that we had, which was the Eurofiber, which you remember the, the cookies and cream pad is what yeah. most people called it. Um, this one is going to have, you know, still great cutting ability. It has the interface there uh, for dissipating heat and getting a great finish as well because mm -hmm. of that pile and it being soft. Mm -hmm. with Very soft. Yeah. Um, so it's not as aggressive, of course, as the Euro Wool Blend, but it falls right behind it for those especially who like using microfibers because there's some popularity behind that and great uses for microfiber pads. Sure. And, and let's just dive a little deeper here. So this has a foam backing or foam interface while this one doesn't. And what that foam is going to do is it's going to make the cut less aggressive. And of course, that is also matched to the fiber style. So more aggressive, less aggressive, but both still great at doing paint defect removal. Absolutely and work on any tool except for this really is not for use on a rotary correct yeah. da so free spinning gear driven short stroke long stroke and of course three different sizes and then if you wanted to go into rotary use that's where the euro wool would come into place for that level of defect removal gotcha and these are two fiber-based pads, so this mm -hmm. covers the fiber-based category for mm -hmm. heavy defect removal in general and all in one box kit Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we got the fiber pads. So mm -hmm. that's for our heavy defect removal, you know, the paint correction side. But you also, in this box kit, you get these three different foam pads. Let's talk about what these three are. And, and just as a side note, I show these in my classes. These are great pads. So these were very successful in regards to the performance and how long they've been in the market with the Eurotech line existing. Mm -hmm. uh, our maroon is a, a medium cut, and it's open cell. So it allows you to basically, you know, go across the, cer the panel that you're working on and to move the product around and everything work in harmony with the cut ability and the finish ability. Uh, this is a great all-in-one pad to say that most people would use mm -hmm. um, for a one-step or all-in-ones, you know, wax cleaners for the, that category. Sure. Going down, you have the blueberry pad, which is our new addition to the Eurotech line, but part of, of course, the Reflection Artist pad line here. And that's the happy medium pad. That's going to actually become and has become our most popular pad between those two because basically in the market where we had these already being used, this one was less aggressive, obviously, than the maroon pad, but there was no in-between. Yeah. You know, where 
This one may be too aggressive. This one was less aggressive. This was the sweet spot for that. Yeah. And that one works well along with doing one steps and mm -hmm. all in ones. Uh, and we found that a lot of people are really, really enjoying using that pad for that reason. And especially this day and age where you just want an enhancement for the most part. I, I'll, and I'll just add my two cents here because um, uh, w when I teach classes or even detailed cars, you know, I, I will showcase this foam series line of pads because they're open cell. Um, they're 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 really easy to use, especially Very. if you're brand new to machine polishing. Um, open cell means they have a high tensile strength, so they won't wear out. They last for a long time. And everybody wants that out of their pads. And kind of like he said, this is actually a fairly aggressive cutting pad. It is. And, but sometimes you don't need that much cut, and especially if you're working on a soft paint, you know you can mar the paint just from the pad. And that's where this blue one comes in handy. It, it does. still offers good correction ability, but it's, it, you can even run your hand over it and feel it's not sharp like this one. You you run your hand over this, and you can feel some bite there. there I mean, there's definitely some cut there. And that's one of the ways I teach people to tell what a pad is. What what, what type of pad is is you know, sometimes you don't have the color code in front of you. Just take your hand and feel across the face, and you can feel the difference between a cutting pad, a polishing pad, and, well, another polishing pad, but more on the finishing side. It's just softer to the touch. And going into that yellow polishing pad, you know, that is one, again, the most popular polishing pads that we have in our lineup. You know, it's very versatile. It offers great finishing capability. Um, and it just kind of finalizes that finishing point for this pad lineup. Now, we didn't go to anything into like an ultra finishing pad or mm -hmm. a more aggressive cutting pad. We left that open-ended because we feel with all the demo team and the work that's been put in behind the demo team with testing and R&D with these pads, it accommodates about 70% of the relevant paint systems on the market to get that like flawless finish. Sure. Now, the open-ended aspect that allows you to basically choose what fits the actual finish for what you're trying to accomplish. Same mm -hmm. thing with defect removal, whatever popular pad that you have in your arsenal to go heavier if necessary. Well, um, I think just to kind of parlay off what you're saying there, one of the things that you'd use this pad for is after you say any of these other pads to do the correction step, come back and do this with the follow-up step. And it's going to finish out on the widest spectrum of paints, whether they're hard or soft. Correct. So. Yeah, we've had, I mean, when we did, for example, the competition ready. Yes. One of the pads that we highlighted were the yellow and the maroon. Yes, And we right. had the Pontiac, the old, late model AJ's vehicle. That's right. We had the Firebird. Yeah. That's right. And so with that, we just used these two pads. Yep. And the level of finish that we were oh, able yeah. to achieve was amazing. Yep. And as a DIY kind of person or an enthusiast, just doing that and being safe and effective will achieve close to professional-like results or like a reflection artist. Well, I'll tell you, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll tell you, this is, a, this is actually, to me, is marketing genius, putting together just a nice box kit. You know, I, I answer questions on detailing professionally for a living, and there's so much confusion over what pad to get. And then when someone that's new to this industry looks at the different types of pads and the colors, it's even more confusing. It is. And you've, you've actually outlaid on this box, you've included the information that shares what the pad is, what it does, when to use it. it and, and, and there's even a scale here to show the aggressiveness of the pad. I mean, uh, someone, does this is your job? Would you do the marketing layout <laughs> we, of the box? We try to make it as <laughs> user friendly as possible. You know, we, you know, made these for professionals to make the approach much easier for them to understand the pads in the lineup, but also for the enthusiasts and those end users that are just getting into this so they could try to accomplish the same results that a professional would and make it easier for them and more simplistic. Hey, the easier you can make it, you know, uh, I always tell people buffing out a car takes a long time. Why would you want to do anything that makes it take longer or makes it more difficult? So if you are new to machine polishing, this is a great way because you can get it in 6 inch, 5 inch, and 3 inch. Correct, and the kits are six and five. Six and five, and that way you can test out the pads that are gonna work best for you, your tool, the car you're working on, and then moving forward, say you go, you know what? I found out these two pads work the best for me. Then you can load up on just these two pads because you can buy them individually too. Absolutely. So this is a great way to test out the pads and, and really science down which pads you're going to use the most of. Because when you are buffing out a car, it's nice to have a lot of pads and switch them out often. It is. That way you have everything in your arsenal that will accommodate what you're trying to achieve. Well, thank you, Justin, for sharing this. It's a, it's really a nice kit. It's a nice system. I'm sure it's a valuable, it's a value price for someone to get into. And, you know, 
even what's better than that is you can get all these pads at autogeek.com. So for more information on these pads, visit autogeek.com. And for more videos like these and how to, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Nice job. Well, really well done. Thank you.